Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Karina. I hope you subscribe and join my growing family, my Lash Babe team. And if you're not new, hi, welcome back. Today's video is very exciting. If you guys follow my channel, if you guys know me, or if you guys just started following me, you may have noticed that I have a slight, slight obsession with eyeshadows. I feel like out of everything, foundation, concealer, bronzer, highlight, all that jazz, you had me at eyeshadow. I love eyeshadows. I love collecting palettes. I love trying new eyeshadow palettes. Anything that has eyeshadow in it, it has my name like literally right next to it. So with that said, I was going through my makeup drawer the other day and I was just cleaning out some things. I discovered that I have so many eye toppers and by eye toppers, I mean liquid eyeshadows. So I was like, you know what? It is time to pull these babies out and I noticed that if not all of them, at least half of my eye toppers were on the affordable side, a drugstore. So I gathered the best of the best drugstore eye toppers that are under $15, which is an amazing price. We're also going to be doing tons of hand swatches. So mama has her little Kirkland, little Costco <laughs> towelettes ready. So with that said, if you guys want to see affordable eye toppers under $15 that you can find at the drugstore, make sure you keep on watching. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. It's totally free. I would appreciate it and kindness goes a long way. So make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as turn on your bell notifications so you never miss any videos. We have so much fun here. We have Makeup Mondays. I upload Wednesdays and Fridays and it's all different kinds of content, beauty, non-beauty, all that jazz. So. Whew. With that said, let's jump right into this video. I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally getting like secretary vibes with like my outfit going on. I don't know why, but I just feel like I should be working in an office right now. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I have... All my eyeshadows pulled out, my liquid eyeshadows pulled out. I did section them by brand. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different brands that again you can find at the drugstore. So we are going to go by brand and I am going to be giving you swatches of each single product just so you can see them in action and maybe you've been looking for a specific eye topper for a specific night. I'm also going to be giving two shout outs to two brands that I don't have a lot of their liquid eyeshadows but i have tried one and i really like it so let's start i guess i'm going to start with the ones that i don't have as many and i could have sworn i had more of these i probably do but i have no idea where they are the first ones are the milani hypnotic lights hypnotic lights holographic eye topper i also have here my little notes because it's just a lot easier for me to keep track of what i'm talking about brands etc so these Milani holographic or hypnotic lights holographic eye toppers retail for $10.99 and sometimes you can find them for $7.39 depending on where you shop. These are the swatches. These liquid eyeshadows are probably some of my favorite amongst all the ones that I have. These are super opaque. You're going to get a lot of color payoff. What I really like about these is that they are amazing at layering. There are some liquid eyeshadows that if you layer them on too much, they start to get a little bit like crumbly or crusty on the eye. I also love to use these. I love, love, love them in the inner corner just as a little pop of highlight. They look so amazing. You can also apply them on your lower lash line. You can really get creative with eye toppers. I mean, obviously they're meant for the eyes, but use your imagination. So this one is in the shade Prismatic Light, which is this gorgeous blue one. You can see they're super metallic. They just have so much reflection to them. This one is called Luster Light, which is the middle one. That one is a road. Oh my God, there's stuff flying here. Do you guys see that? I have my matamoscas. There's been so many flies in my house. He's... Ah. Sorry, I've been trying to murder this freaking Mosca for the past week and it just keeps getting away from me and I am 
fed up. So like I said, this one is more of a rose gold pink, really pretty. I actually use this one a lot for my bridal makeup that I do, my quinceañeras. Um, I also use it for some prom because these are colors that are very, very like um, requested. And the last one that I have here, like I said, I don't know the name, but it's this really pretty like soft lilac. If you turn it, as you can see, it looks blue, it shifts to purple. So these are really pretty, you guys. I highly recommend these. I just, I love these. I love these. I have nothing else to say, but I love these. I'm going to move on to the other shadows that I only have two of. These are pretty new and they are by CoverGirl. Um, these, I don't know what they're called actually. They don't have a name on the actual packaging. They just say CoverGirl Ex Exhibitionist uh, number four and number seven. I don't remember if the packaging had the name, but it's long gone. I bought my CoverGirl um, eyeshadows at Walmart and they retail for $10. So right underneath the $15 uh, like deadline these are also really pretty these are not as shift changing I think that's what you call it as the Milani ones but these are also really pretty these actually contain tons of glitter if you guys can see yeah they are super reflective because they have so much sparkle in them I really like these the only thing that I find slightly annoying is that if you apply them all over the lid and you blend them out you do get a little bit of glitter fallout but honestly it's like it's not a big deal it's not a deal breaker it's just a little bit annoying but I can get over it next brand is a brand that I absolutely love and I feel like nobody talks about this brand and I've said this a million times but I'm going to keep saying it because I just feel like they don't get the recognition that they deserve and of course I am talking about J Cat Beauty I have six of their eye toppers. Now these are called the Holographic 3D eye toppers. These are very similar to the Milani ones where they are like shape. Oh my God, what is that word? They shift, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. They shift in the light. So if you turn it a certain way, it looks lilac. Another way it looks blue. So it just depends. And I'm getting a phone call. Oh, uh, that was my doctor, you guys. He just called in to check on me and to see how everything was going as far as me taking the pill, cleansing my body, and all that. Oh, he is such a sweetheart. I love him. Now, these have a retail value of $6.99. I usually get all my products from them. Like, they just sent it to me in PR. But if you guys are curious where you can buy JCAT, Ulta carries them online. So here are all the swatches. So this one is called Wink Tink and it is this really pretty green color. The second color is called Viridian which is the second shade right here. And this one is like a blue violet color, really, really pretty. The third one is called So Poppy and So Poppy is a little red, you guys see that? It's like a red copper shade that one is also super gorgeous next up we have pinch me peachy which the name says it all it's a really pretty peachy color this one right here it does have a little bit of like rose gold but it's definitely more orange next up is called unicorn hype and unicorn hype is this one right here as you can see it reflects purple but if you switch it around it almost looks like I don't know, like a blue or something. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's uh, this one right here. And the very last one is called Azul Lemonade. This one was one of my favorite shades when I first received it. It's like a blue, but it shifts to like a green. Just absolutely stunning. Now, my swatches look a little bit dry because these are actually pretty much dried out. I don't know if it's the way that I store them. I usually store them laying down, but I also haven't played with them in quite some time. I really like these. The only thing that I have to say is, again, slightly annoying is the actual applicator. It's a very small tip, as you can see. It's like super, super tiny. So it's very hard for you to get any product out and the actual wand, I feel like it absorbs everything into the brush and it doesn't dispense it back but yeah that's the only thing that i really don't like about these is the little blush or the little applicator itself it's not the most there's that fly you are dead my friend 
Let's move on to the next brand. The next brand is Pixie by Petra. These are their liquid fairy lights. I have three, four, five shades. Now, these barely made it to the list, okay? Because these are right at $15. Obviously, like, don't count taxes because that doesn't count. <laughs> these are right at $15. And Pixie is exclusively sold, if I'm correct, exclusively sold at Target. It is more of a, like, high-end drugstore brand than, like, CoverGirl, Milani, and all those. These are so bomb. Like, they're really good. And these are the swatches of the Pixie Beauty Liquid Fairy Lights. As you can see, these are super reflective. These are also really opaque. These have so much glitter. They are similar to the CoverGirl ones where they have a bunch of glitter on them. Like just, oh, do you get, oh, there it is. Do you guys see that? That is beautiful. So much glitter. This one is in the shade Rose Gold. Obviously, the name speaks for itself. Very pretty rose gold color. Then we have Bear Brilliance or Bear, Bri yeah, Bear Brilliance, which is this one. The next shade is called Passion Light and Passion Light is this really pretty red brick burnt orange color. This is like perfect for the fall. Next up is Crystalline. Crystalline is probably one of my favorites from this line because it is a white, but it has so much reflection. It has a little bit of green. It has a little bit of blue. It has a little bit of gold. Just a gorgeous shade that you can literally throw all over your lid with any color and it would look so pretty. And then the last one is called Sunray, which is a plain golden shade. It's very similar to the color of my watch, just a true gold. These again are very pretty, very opaque. The only thing about these that I have personally noticed is that they can get a little bit watery so you do have to like just like uh, move them around before you apply them. Also these can get a little bit cracky on the lids so I would recommend again apply your base set your base and then go in with your eye topper and don't apply too much because these will crack on your lids and you will get a little bit of flakiness and fall off fall out not fall off fall out on your eyes but other than that honestly they're really good products pixie by petra fairy lights bomb 15 dollars target the last brand that I have here that I have a lot of products are from Koki Professional. These um, Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadows retail for $6, which is such a good price if you ask me for these products. Like, you're not going to use them that much unless you use them on a daily basis and you'll probably run out. But other than that, they're just amazing. First of all, the packaging on these are absolutely stunning they're super pretty i did get all of these in pr a while ago and um yeah i absolutely love them these are the ones that i feel like i personally reach for the most and these are the ones that i usually take with me when i have a makeup event or if i have just a makeup appointment in general these are the ones that i usually go to i don't know why there's just something about this formula that I'm just like drooling over. And here are the swatches of all the Koki Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadows. This gorgeous navy reflective blue is called Galactic. This very, do you guys see this super light, almost like a very light green gold is the shade Lucky Star. This one is one of my absolute favorites. I don't think I've used it on camera, but I have used it on me personally and it looks so pretty this one is called mothership and it's this really pretty olive green do you guys see that like i swear the camera's not doing these products any justice but it's that olive green shade next up we have starlight starlight is a like almost like a cool tone bronze this one i use a lot on my clients because again a lot of people request warm tone colors the next shade that we have here is called moon child and moon child is this burnt orange copper red which I feel like I see a lot of these shades on these liquid eyeshadows because again warm tones the next one is called millennium millennium is I don't know it's like a cross in between like a rose gold with like lilac and like a rosy color I don't know it's a very pretty strange color I don't normally reach for this color just because I don't wear a lot of pink on my eyes but it is a gorgeous shade next up we have supernova supernova is that super reflective like ultraviolet shade that shifts as well this one is really pretty I've used this one in the inner corners of my eyes and it just looks stunning 
And then the last one that we have is called Stardust. Stardust is just a plain silver shade. It reflects a little bit of like blue, but it's definitely more silver. The last two products are going to be honorable mentions. Again, these are only products that I have one of each, but I've tried them and I mean, you don't need to have a lot of that same product to know that it's a good product, if that makes sense. So this one is the Warrior Glitter Shadow in the shade Poison by the brand Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty is Drew Barrymore's brand that is sold at Walmart and Ulta. These retail for $10 according to the Ulta website, if I'm correct. This shadow I've used a few times and I've actually been very, very curious to pick up more shades, but then I'm like, Ugh, I don't need them. This one is crazy opaque, and I think I used this one in a tutorial a long time ago. <gasps> Do you guys see the reflection on that? This is stunning. They have a few more shades. Damn. Do you guys see it? Oh, you are trying me today. The last product that I have here is by the brand Hard Candy. I've been thinking of doing like a one brand tutorial using Hard Candy. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But this is the Glitterazzi Eyeshadow Duo. This is in the shade Viva La Venus. And this brand as well has tons of eyeshadows or tons of little Glitterazzi Duo eyeshadows. This one is absolutely stunning as you can see for some reason I have a thing for purple so this one it comes with one side of the brush and it comes with your liquid eyeshadow honestly I haven't used this specific side so I don't know how good it is just by swatching it it doesn't look very good it's a little pigmented but it's lacking a little now this I though I have used this one I used it on my sister a while ago because she wanted a super pretty like purpley eyeshadow and I actually use this more as a glitter topper right here where the crease is and it just looks so stunning. This one as well it's very uh, reflective as you can see. When you look at it at the top it just looks like an ultraviolet and then you switch your hands and it just looks a little bit more like pink so definitely a duochrome eyeshadow. Um, if you guys are interested in trying them out, I don't know if I said the price, but these are $7, which is super affordable. And yeah, that is the last eye topper. Okay, you guys, that concludes this video. These were all my affordable eye toppers, all under $15. We did a little bit of swatches. So I hope you guys found some new products. I hope I got you on something new. Let me know if you have any affordable eye toppers that I didn't mention or that I probably haven't seen. And share them in the comment section down below because we wanna know the good stuff. So with that said, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, that is it. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.